Hello students, today in your geometry class, we're going to work on hypotenuse leg proofs or HL proofs. Now, at the end of this lesson, you should be able to prove that right triangles are congruent. Now to help us, we're going to use theorem 4-6, which is the hypotenuse leg theorem or HL theorem. And that states, if the hypotenuse and a leg of one triangle are congruent to the hypotenuse and a leg of another right triangle, then the triangles are congruent. So this should actually be very easy and very similar to what you guys have been doing already with uh, other triangle proofs, SSS, SAS, AAS, and ASA. The only thing is, is that you really only need to prove two things in here, a hypotenuse and a leg. And the reason why this works is because you already have an angle, which is your 90 degree angle. So it becomes redundant to mention it as a side angle side or etc. So let's try an example. For this example we have given we have angle PRS and angle RPQ are right triang right angles and line segment SP is congruent to line segment QR. So with that said we can start our proof. So step one again should be very easy. Step one is whatever they started us off with. And the reason why we know that is because it's given. Keep in mind, on the last part of the sentence, it tells us that we've proved a side is congruent. So we're just going to track that just to make sure. And if you remember from previous proofs, because these two triangles are touching, we know that PR is congruent to line segment PR. And the reason why we know that is because of the reflexive property. Once we have that, we've proven another side, or rather, this is a leg. So let me fix that. This is a leg. And the one before that was our hypotenuse. Therefore, we can say the two triangles are congruent. Let's just copy a thing down word for word. We could say the two triangles, two right triangles are congruent because of the HL theorem. Let's try another one. In here, should be fairly easy. We're just, again, because we have two right triangles, Oh, it doesn't say we have two right triangles. So we're going to have to prove that also. So for this example, let's start with the easy stuff. We're going to take a picture of our given. And we know that part. That part is our given. Now in this, we show that we have a hypotenuse. But again, we still haven't proven that it's a right triangle, so we have to do that now. Now, notice it says angle GHI and JHI are congruent. Because that's true, we have to show that... Let's pull up our angle symbols. I guess not. We're going to pull up our angle. We're going to say angle GHI is congruent to angle IHJ. Oh, oops, I'm sorry. We're going to say those two angles add up to 180 degrees. And we know this because of the definition of supplementary angles. Okay. Now, because we know that, we could say angle GHI plus angle GHI equals 180 degrees. And notice the only thing that changed from the step above it was that we now replaced angle IHJ with GHI 
and that is substitution. Now we can say 2 times angle GHI is equal to 180. Because of addition. Now we can say angle GHI equals 90. Because of division. Now we could say that triangle GHI and triangle IHJ are right triangles. Let's see. Are right triangles. And we can say that because of the definition of right triangles. Now it's really important that we mention that it is a right triangle and that we can prove it because we can't use the HL theorem until we can say that it is. Now that we have that, we can say that HI is congruent to HI because of uh, the reflexive property. And now we can finally say that triangle IHJ is congruent to triangle IHJ because of HL theorem. Now it's your turn. Try this proof and post your answers to Edmodo. First we'll start it, everyone else will reply. That's all for now. See you next time.